Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Are You Lucky Tarot and Oracle card readings. We're going to have a money reading, then we'll have a love reading. So let's get into that money reading, shall we? What advice do you have for Capricorn to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Capricorn need to know about money, please? Okay, we will do a five card reading here and we are going to pull a fortune oracle. This is the theme of the readings. You've got the world. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Now, I like that when it's sort of a double header with both readings. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Haven't seen that one yet. The Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the World, again, double world, and the Queen of Pentacles and the outcome. That is fabulous. You know what I heard? That is fat. If you say the word fat, cool, they're talking to you. So with this, you are in a place, expect the unexpected, but expect it to turn in your favor. If you have emails that give you discounts, you have somebody recruiting you, something is going to land in your favor. Or if you're looking for a housing change, I also see that happening. With this wheel, though, this wheel of life here, this also helps you know when to let go and when to hang on. So if you're thinking about making a move, I feel like the timing is right. Now, you have both the wheel and the world. The world is technically here twice. So those are cards of progress. If something has been at a standstill, it is going to move forward with this wheel. This spins in your favor and it picks things up. So even if you interviewed for jobs all the way back in the fall, I get, and you decide to kind of, you know, zhuzh your resume a little bit, get things kind of going again, I feel like the turnaround time is going to be quick. Even if it's a living situation, if you took a break for a while, because you're like, I'm not even getting anything with this. Here's where things pick up again. So it is going to bring in choices with the Seven of Cups. So make sure you're meditating with that wheel. You have portals into the divine with both of these, the wheel and the wreath of victory. Meditate and quiet the mind. You do have the wreath of victory here. I saw a horseshoe the other day that was pointed down. I thought, who put that up? It was like a decal. Isn't that bad luck? This one's pointed up. And so, yeah, I'm mildly superstitious. But with this, you have choices coming in. And so I feel like that meditation is going to be a big part of it to bring in the mental clarity. So with this card, it's, it's again, you're going to find that things start to pick up and get exciting where money is concerned. There's no lack here, by the way. There's nothing here saying you don't have. It's all about you do. However, you have clarity coming in. So where you have a lot of choices, this is going to come in handy. You set your goals, and I'll tell you what, with this, you will exceed them. You have some kind of an offer showing up here that's very clear. If it's a contract, it's very well written. If it's a decision you're making, like you decide, I'm going to travel to X, Y, or Z, you're going there. I also feel like, too, if you start seeing things in your algorithm that kind of intrigue you, they have to do with money or finance, watch them. Those things just show up randomly, but not exactly. I mean, they're all related to your interests, but they're also, too, sometimes I think they're on a deeper level. I've talked about how I started doing tarot was through Eckhart, watching Eckhart Tolle. That has nothing to do with tarot. And so, I, I mean, I was reading cards before that for 33 years, but, you know, on YouTube. Anyway, back to this. Um, with this, though, you have opportunities. You have a golden opportunity coming in here. So the world is going to bring a brand new cycle. For some of you, it could be a move. With the wheel and this, I feel like somebody gets a job that may involve a move. But I feel like, too, they're going to give you a relocation. There's like relocation funding involved and even a sign-on bonus. So anything you do, it's not going to be inconvenient. And so if you're saying, well, that's great, but I'm not quite retired yet. I need another three years or four years. Again, the cards are not like a complete calendar reading like uh, astrology tends to be. This can be open-ended too. So I definitely feel like if you're asking about in the future, they're telling you this is a card of ventures. You have a card here saying there's more coming in. And with the Queen of Pentacles, you're going to be flush. Anything you do now, if you're doing some kind of a side hustle and you're saving for the future, you're going to have more than enough money here. This is living right. It's living fine. I keep hearing living a fine life. And I mean that in terms of like refined, I feel, believe what is what they're trying to tell you. So with this queen of pentacles, you're going to be in charge. There's no 
there's nothing here in terms of lack at all. I mean, it is abundance. So let's see now what the cards want to tell you about love. What advice do you have for Capricorn, please, about love? What does Capricorn need to know about love, please? Advice for Capricorn. Five card reading. This time it's going to be in a slightly different order, but again, five cards you have here. The Five of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Well, somebody here, I feel like you have sort of this, it's right underneath your nose is what I feel like they're telling you. So with this Five of Wands, if you're bickering in a relationship, you guys got to meet in the middle. Or if you have something here that's bringing in a lot of conflict, if you have a blended family or something, it may be time to go talk to somebody with that Two of Swords energy. Because I feel like there's, we've got to have compromise. Whatever this is, there's a change here. I do feel like you have real love here, though. And so if it's a breakup that you're asking about, I feel like you got to get back to center. you got to get back to who you really are. And that is the energy of love. Now, if you're not getting, you're single and you're not finding that there's any matches, they're out there. I mean, they are all around you, but you've got to be open to it. You've got to take off the blindfold, put down the swords and get open, Cap, because with this five of wands, there's kind of a chaotic energy around you. So if it has something to do too, if you say, I really resonated with that money reading and you, you feel like you're going to move or you're open to move, there may be something about that too in terms of, you know, if then kind of like the moving and then meeting someone. But with the six of cups here, you had love here at some point. Now, if it is, you're asking about reconciliation, there is real love here. And so I feel like we have to, like I said, be willing to see that the person either is changed and that's how you have to see them. If you keep going back into feelings of frustration with someone else's behavior, you're going to get them back in the same exact place. It is law. It is universal law. So resonate with this. Believe that this is a return to love, a return to trust. In terms of relationships too, if you haven't had any, I do feel like there may be a bit of a trust issue, a trust block is what I hear. And so we have to be in this place, especially too on the day to day, there's always lots of good examples. People who want to help you, people who do nice and kind things for you. And sometimes if we're guarded and you find that your reaction is kind of skepticism, why would they do that for me? Or you're hesitant or you tell people no when they offer. It may be about getting back into this, getting back into the place where you can be open. This is in some ways it's childlike. There's a an energy of this with this card is like before we've been burned. Okay, because we get guarded because something happens. We don't come out that way. So with this Queen of Wands, you're attracting loyalty, passion. And if you have somebody too, where you have a lot of chemistry, but you don't see it as a long-term relationship, I feel like they're, they're saying you got to be open to having somebody else come in. All right, because, you know, we can't park a new car in the garage when there's already one sitting there, can we? Right? So I do feel like there's something about this energy. I love the Queen of Wands, don't get me wrong. But I do feel like with this one here, it's an issue that you need to address. So if you've had a lot of short relationships that are built on this, they're built on the passion, on the chemistry, and they don't have enough depth. I also feel like they're telling you to pick differently, pick somebody that you get really clear about the traits that you want and know that they're available to you. So with this nine of wands, you've got the wounded warrior here. And with this one, in terms of areas that you need to develop to allow love in, I feel like too, for some, if you're still wounded, we got to heal you a little more. Someone dropped a comment at some point about basically being an unhealed person and that that's okay in a relationship. You got to be working on it though, because if we do what we'll do, if we go into an unhealed, we're just going to bond in our wounds. And you know what that does. It doesn't last. And so trauma attracts trauma. Look, I've had a very traumatic childhood. I do understand this and I'm a fully licensed clinician. So I tell you this with love. Okay. I tell you this with love. So whatever this is, it's, it's something that needs to be healed a bit more and just kind of release it where you can allow yourself to see the love that's around you, the support that's around you. Because with this two of swords, the cards are your best friend that tells you the truth. And they're trying to tell you that you need to get open. 
Okay, the bottom sword represents fear. The top sword is anger. Very hard to approach in this energy. So I feel like you do have a chance. You have a possibility. You have love around you. But if it's a reconciliation, we have to be willing to see it another way. I'd love to see the hanged man come out with that. You know, if you had a, another reading, you're getting a hanged man. I tell you, they're trying to answer it. So good things, though, are on the way for you, Capricorn. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.